cool in here right now. It's not making steam. Zero PSI. When this thing's going full tilt, I think I mentioned it sits right around five, between four and five pounds. So Tuesday, August, uh, should have been better prepared. Tuesday, August 5th. Here's where we are on the boiler project. Here's an update. You might see a few things different. The old surge pump is gone. Well, it's actually just been moved. It's right over here. See a couple pieces of unistrut there, or super strut on the wall. That's pretty awesome. So that means the process has started. It's awesome. It's probably going to be. They're just kind of getting stuff on site right now. Let's do a. I'll do a walkthrough and show you what's already here on site, and um, when we're going to start. I think we're going to start somewhere between the next 14 to 21 days. Probably closer to 14 days. We're waiting on one component that has to do with the water tank. This new boiler company and engineering company are such swell people that we decided to have them do the whole thing right now. We're not even stretching it out over time. So that's pretty cool. The, the two pieces of super stride I don't think I mentioned are going to be to secure this pipe because they obviously have to change this um, valve. That valve doesn't shut off. Horn blows. So when, and then like when the boiler gets cut out, they have to support this five inch steam line, both five inch steam lines, into the ceiling, but that's on them. So the plan, here's the plan. Hold on. The reason why that's cycling on so much is I have to run the, look at how high the water level is. It's up uh, right here. Wait, where is it? It's right here. It needs to be down here in the rag. Oh, for Pete's sake. I've got everything going on down here. It's almost like we're in a boiler room or something. This is the fire pump, right? That's got to stay. I think we've talked about that. There's no intention to... Oh, my phone's ringing. For Pete's sake. I'll let that go for just a sec. Uh, the fire pump here is staying exactly as it sits. This is where it comes in from the street. This is where it pumps out to the wet suppression system in the building. So that's got to stay. They're going to um, utilize this blocking because I guess there is a, some sort of circ pump that they're using or some pressure pump or something. So that's going to stay. Everything else is getting gutted. There are two hot water boilers that are going to fit or stack here. And then there's the cold pressure system that's going to fit here. So that's kind of cool. So the hot and cold domestic supply are all going on this side. And I'll show you, well, you'll see how that all gets done. And they're going to tie all that in first, so there will be very little delay in service for the hot and cold water. Maybe a day. They're going to get everything plumbed in, and then there may be a day when they're doing the swap over of the copper. But then this will be a bigger job. So that'll get the hot and cold water on that side, all the domestic, and then they'll deal with tearing the boiler out, and the building will be without steam heat, boiler heat, for, oh, I don't know, five or six days, which isn't horrible because we're in our in our nice weather, you know, summer weather pattern, so he'd be all right. So yes, the ball is rolling once again on this. I'm very, very excited to get this done. Uh, it'll be nice. I've got a lot of time and, and money tied up in this project that's been stagnant since uh, December, so it'll be nice to see this going, and I'll show you what we already have here on site today. I'm far from the boiler expert, and apparently there are more than these, but these are the boiler panels. There's four of them. I have to look at the specs. I don't know how many this system is calling for, but they're actually kind of cool. Let me see if I can get in here. They're super heavy. It took three guys. I mean, that's cast steel or cast iron. Let me get back here. This fire chamber there. There's your heat exchanger up top here. Obviously, these are going to fit like this, right? And they all just bolt together, sandwiched together, so that's how they're going to get the new one in. And it's pretty neat, pretty neat. Like I said, it looks very solid. Very thick, very thick indeed. It's awesome. So that's that's the, the heat exchangers. I guess that's what they're called, right? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. Here is what they are. And then we walk over here to this part of the garage. And these are the natural gas heaters.
I'm assuming, I could be wrong, but I'm assuming these are for the domestic hot water supply. See, that's the beauty of my job. I don't have to know the specifics of what everything is. I just need to know how to pick the right contractors uh, who know what they're doing. So all, all I am is the conductor in this whole process, which has its benefits, has its drawbacks. Um, far from, a, there's an expansion tank or something, I think is what that is, or for the uh, condensate, looks like with the pump, right? And then all their other little goodies here. Explosible. Oh, well, it's an isolate tank. See, there you go. Isolate now. Any hoodles. You boiler guys are probably sitting there yelling at your camera, or yelling at your screen going, that idiot. That isn't what he's talking about. Well, maybe it is. Maybe I'm right. Maybe they're saying, oh, yeah, dude's right. But they dropped those off today. And like I said, I'm assuming those are for the hot water because, I mean, we're starting with the hot water. So why wouldn't it be? That's awesome. That's awesome. So there you have it. Finally, finally, this boiler project has going to be gaining a little momentum here. All right, I got to run. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. See ya.